In today's exercise, we continue the three-dimensional object modeling and animation. We start with a very simple 3D object we have done in the last exercise, and then continue to put in more complex things like the texture or combination of different primitive objects in order to create a composite objects. So as usual, we start with the component we have done before. First of all, we have the geometry. Camera. And the lighting. So after the three essential components, we also introduce the renderer, which will take the output from the all three components and then render it to a two-dimensional screen. And then eventually it will go through the output window. So the next step we would like to do is try to manipulate a little bit the geometry within this component, GE01, and then try to add more objects within this one. So the way we go inside is double click. So we'll give you an enlarged version of the primitive objects. So the default one is the torus, this the donut shape. So together with this one we also for example would like to in this case we have an another one. So the objects from the three dimensional database come in the SOP, the surface operator. So the torus is the default one over here. And we also introduce another one called the sphere. So this one is the ball and this one is the donut. And if we would like to integrate the two of them into one single object, we will use another command also from the SOP, the surface operator. We'll do something called the merge. And then you can connect the two primitive objects into the merge. And it form another objects. And if you take a look of those fret on the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner, you see that we have something called the render and display. So in the very beginning, by default, the first object you have already created by default will be turn on this render and display fret. And in our case like this one, the final result is this one after the merge. So in that case, we'll turn on the display and render thread for the final result in during the merge section. So if you take a look of the preview by selecting the right click and choose the view, you can open up a new window. And within this new window is a three dimensional space you can turn around the object to have a look. So this is the composition we have done by combining the two objects. So when you are done with this particular object, you can go back to the original scenes in the project one by pointing over here. So this is GE01 is your geometry and then the project one is your project. You can select and go back here. So also within the geometry one, you can also have a look of the view, which is the objects you have created. So this will be the end of the creation if you are happy with this particular model. So of course you can change, for example, from the geometry, the transformation we have done a little bit before by using the translate, rotate or scale. And usually we will not stop here because the objects over here is come with the default appearance. So this is the, we call it shading or rendering. And if you would like to change 
the rendering, we will apply a new material on top of this particular graphics. And in that case, you have to select one more thing from the selection. So if we go back to the create dialog, there's one particular tab we call the MAT, which come with a number of selection. And actually in this course we'll usually use the two of them. One is the font and the other is the point sprite. So in this case we use the font. This is a material renderer. So this is the default one we use to render the appearance of the graphics. And if you would like to change, for example, the the surface of this one, you can change the lighting property. So a number of them uh, will be the lighting information. For example, this is the lighting information. And in order to make use of this material, we'll have to direct it into the geometry. If you can select the geometry over here and go to the display, and you can drag this particular material onto the material selection so it will give you the instant change into the appearance of this material and for other parts sometimes you would like to for example have some sort of texture on top of this material rather than just color or the refraction you can in this case go back to our texture operator we have done in last week the use of the movie in so by default you come with this particular graphics at the default objects and if you would like to change this one you can actually go to the file and then select either one a still photo or quick time movie you can make use of them and select this one and once you start the playback you have the movie playing and other than that one you can also relate the movie and also the material together so when you click upon the material the form one over here for example I can choose back the white color and at the same time there's one more selection called the color map Actually, you can drag the movie one objects onto the color map and then release your mouse button. After you have done this one, the surface of this one will be this particular one. So you can see the animated images in the movie one will be mapped on top of the form one material. And eventually it will create this display of the final output in the out one window so this is the one we have done and also within the geometry you can also have a look of the rendering effect with the forest image on top of your graphics And if you like to actually change, for example, the rotation of this particular graphics, you can go back to the transform and select different parameter actually in the rotation. For example, rotate in the X direction or Y direction or the Z direction. And you can also make use of the mouse. To play around with this one. If you click upon your middle mouse button, you can select for actually how much you would like to rotate. And once you select this one, and if you move to the left hand side and right hand side by pressing together with the middle button, you can select or automatically change the rotating direction. So this is the result we have rotate the image over here.